Well, I guess you guys can scoot, scoot down that way a little bit. Well, turn down my phone. I guess that works too. All right. So we're here again. Hey guys, another Marvel Superheroes Day. Can't be what day two of us. Oh my, I did it. Hold on, I gotta cut down the sound in the dark room. hearing myself talk 30 seconds late. <laughs> It'll drive me crazy after a while. Um, I think you're already there. Yeah, usually. Okay. Now, what we have are Aurora and North Star and Snowbird right now. Sasquatch will possibly join us later. Himself somewhere. He's out there digging in the dirt. Moving people's refrigerators for some reason. Just random. He just walks in and says, look what I can do. Picks it up, it's takes it out in the front yard and leaves. Okay, yeah, great, thanks. Can I have my stuff back here? Nope, off to save the town. <laughs> okay, you guys got charts? Did you hand your, you got yours? Everybody? Oh. Yep, there's dice. Uh, were, who's green? were those your dice? Hmm? On the table? No, those were mine. I didn't know whose they were, so I just tossed them into the middle. But then they just kept rolling, almost escaping the table. They, they're pretty good rolling. They keep oh, going. Man. So, we'll pick up with where we kind of just gave a preview last time of where we would be going. Yeah, we're entering uh, this Marvel Superheroes module, Cat's Paw. We use Marvel Superheroes because it's not around anymore, really. It's a face rip system now, people call it. So I have no one to bug me about. You're doing my system without anything for me, blah, blah, blah. And if someone wants to pay me to run their system, maybe. <laughs> okay. You guys got your people? You got a stack of potato chips, I see. Mmm. Those ones. There. Depending on the size of the, the, the writing. Okay. Call had gone out across Canada, not the alpha signal that warns of a national crisis, but a single series of telephone calls from Heather Hudson, the leader of Alpha Flight. At her request, you and your teammates have gathered in the city of Hull, just north of Ottawa, to meet with Heather and Gary Cody former government liaison to Alpha Flight in Department H. Now, since they've closed that office usage for that, he's uh, now working more for uh, kind of an equivalent of the CIA, and I can't remember what they're called there. They're parts of Interpol, probably. Um, Heather and Cody have had bad news. Simon Hadley Brown, Canadian's Secret Service agent, well, there is Secret Service, lies at death's door. He was well known to you when you were part of Department H, the government agency in charge of Alpha Flight. When it was connected with the government, he'd been a friend. Simon was found stumbling through a small parking hole earlier today, badly mauled by animals. Now he is listed in critical condition at St. Anne's Hospital. According to Cody, Simon was working undercover to investigate security leaks in a government project. His report said he was on something big, but he gave no details. His last message was that he was looking forward to meeting with the other side. Nothing more is known. Heather and Cody want you to find out who's responsible, finish Simon's mission, and bring Simon's attackers to justice. So it's kind of like partially a, a, a you know, 
do us a favor, man. Although, like I said publicly, Alpha Flight, you're just not financed by them anymore. But Alpha Flight's still accepted because the public loves them. Because they did good during the whole attack of the giant robot. So, why don't we just go ahead with... I've been out since fucking five thirty this morning. Oh my gosh. Um, first of all, do you guys have any questions of Cody or Heather when you first arrive? Hey, Heather. Hi. Um, and you? now you can uh, uh, go check his house. Um, and now you can. Uh... Did you find us? Yes, he did. <laughs> Take that up there. Uh, yeah, these, uh, let's go with. Uh, start with rolls for next year. We don't need them yet, but we will. Hey, look at that. We're in North Star. What was my Snowbird. my plus? Plus eight. So, Aurora? Yeah, it's Dice Wing. <coughs> plus eight. Eleven. Eleven. So it's nineteen. North Star? Twenty seven. Snowbird? I got six. Well, you feel so slow uh, today, don't you? No, you got eight. Oh. Ooh, you know, that, that really looks like it lost compared to Aurora and North Star. <laughs> you got the Wonder Twins of Speed. Hey, reach up and turn the fan off. No, or someone else can do it for her. It, now you've touched it. No, now you turn it back on. Middle, slow. One more. Now, wait. That's just back where we were. Can you reach up there? One more. Now reach your hand up there and stop it. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> Reason why is it's creating a blinking. Oh. I noticed it on the mirror on the refrigerator the other day when I was standing there by it. The fan was created blinking, so I thought that might be an issue for you. Fans are evil, everyone remember that. Okay. Well, oh damn Sam, I need another paper. That's why I got lots of it. I got two missing teeth, one hair, one hair. I got him in a drawer in the back room. No. <laughs> okay. Um, well, they uh, point you in the direction to go. If you have any other questions, call us. Um, we'll, or we'll be in touch with you. Um, first of all, I guess find out what he was working on. Yeah! Didn't say keep looking at it. It's dirty. It is. I, I we gotta clean that. Right now? No. Yes, we will clean it later. But does it feel different without the blinking? That's what I was thinking. Plus, I've got an optical illusion tablecloth for you. I'm just playing color out wars with you. You had more problems when we were gaming than usual, so I was looking at it to see what I find. Now, um. So, the three of you, now heading off, first question is, how are you guys walking around town? Regular clothes. I'm using my feet. Okay. <laughs> Smart ass! <laughs> so she's walking around with no shoes on. 
with your feet. Smart ass. Snowbird. Wait, are you even dressed? I'm naked. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> and just walking naked down the street. She forgot to put her clothes on this morning before leaving. So her is drinking. Oh, she has a big old smile walking down the street. <laughs> well, luckily, the house is off the beaten path and up a hill a little bit. It's about 10, 15 minute walk. Um, but the roads are kind of like unlabeled or anything. Which is half of Canada. Uh, don't be mean. Everyone make an intuition check. First of all, I should ask, how are you guys getting here? Where's my diet? Are you guys just, just walking to this place? So it's been like you land in town, you didn't rent a car or anything, you're just walking all the way up there? You guys can, you're, oh. you're in good shape. Well, no, I'm going to rent a car. Okay. A convertible. Ooh. I'm going to fly up there. Naked? Hey, why not? <laughs> Give the whole town of you. What if you cause an accident and someone dies? Okay. I got a red. She'll lose, she'll lose karma. What? I got a red. You got a red? 43. You do not make it. Because she's. Walking naked. around naked. She doesn't care. She's like in his own. Do you do anything about it, North Star? Yeah, I make her put some clothes on. <laughs> do you like stop at a store on the way and pick her up some clothes? No. I have a, I always have a dress ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it fits you perfectly. That one's ugly. I don't like that one. I want the other one. It's pink. Shut up. I want the purple one, not that no. one. The purple is mine. Um, and what'd you get, <laughs> Snowbird? I got 52. And that is a... Green. Green. Okay. Because you know what? I don't even have a chart. No. <laughs> no, um, what'd I do with it? It's right here. No, I, can't, I don't use that one because I can't see it. I have a black and white one in a sleeve. It's up your butt. It's up my butt? It's I would not really think I would notice that. It's up your butt! Guess I'll use that one. People drew on Why? You could use the one that I just gave you. Well, you don't have one now. So? Do you want the black and white one? No! Well, then you have the, this one. No! It doesn't matter to me. I know what the colors are. No! You don't want one at all. You don't pay attention. Well, no, I'm, I'm going to make a man to work. Okay. You're going to test her on her skills? Yep. I'm still learning this chart. And I'm exactly. better at it. Exactly. You got to learn. Okay, first North Stars to notice um, is a... Uh, Seven-year-old boy standing over by the mansion. Oh God! I make it. Staring at your sister. I'm gonna throw a dress on her. Okay. Make a uh, speed check. I assume it's as quick as possible. So I'm a monstrous. Yep. Roll. She walked away. I'll be right back. I walked away. We're rolling dice. What do, what do you have, monsters? Roll. I got a chart. 84. Yellow. Which is good. You're doing things at, like two at a time. Slapping her and putting the dress on. <laughs> he's just staring. Then he's like looking at like, what? Maybe, you know, it's wrong. It was pink, you know, skin color. I told you I don't know what that one else is. Touch it! Deal with it! Um. Who are you guys? I'm North Star, this is Aurora, and this is Snowbird. 
Wow, that's like the same name of the superheroes in Alpha Flight. We are them. Oh. oh. Why don't you wear your uniforms? We're incognito. Okay. Okay. Look to the Aurora again. Um. I was hoping you were police, but you, you could help me out. Uh, well, it's my law. Nothing wrong with me. It's my it's my best friend Ron. Um. He well, me and Ron were talking, and he said he wasn't scared of nothing, and I said he was scared of the Harris place, and he said he wasn't, and to prove it, he went inside. Ron's older than me and thinks he knows everything you know. Um. Anyways, he went inside, and I promised to wait for him, and an hour went by, and and he didn't come out of this, uh, but this big guy came out to the house, came walking up, went in. I, I hid behind the bushes over there, so he didn't see me. And about 15 later, just minutes later, he came out, the big guy came running out, and the old lady's cats had got him. And I think that Ron too. I think he got. I think she got him too. And and I was gonna go in. I was, I was gonna go tell his folks though, and and then go myself, except for the ghost. And um, I was I was gonna go right in and, you know, and he's playing a roar like what the. Okay, kind of confused. And I saw you guys. And I thought you were pleased, so I came to see if you could help me. You love them. Oh, but you're superheroes, so that's even better. But what do you guys do about ghosts? I'm drunk. <laughs> you just finding out? I have no bra. <laughs> Such conversation in front of this seven-year-old boy. I'm gonna ruined go. for life. I'll go check it out. I should take Connor away. You're, you're ruining this poor kid. He shouldn't <laughs> be going through puberty in front of you. My nipples are hard, though. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a map of the place. If I give it to you, I don't have one. But I have the names for all the places. Hey, Amber. So I'm giving you guys the copy. Just back at one time I was using a color burn version. It's from the old uh, Wolverine Road game. There's the place. Of course you'll have to go in the front door first. I was just going to draw it out, but we're just going to make things go faster, magically. Share it. Make sure everyone gets a look at it. You looking for the front door? Give it here. It may not be easy to see. I know what room is first, though. Right there. Okay. There's an arrow now, purple arrow. And the, the brown, the dark brown, is a porch you walk on. You know, about a step up or so, three or four steps. And then you walk around. And then the front door is over here. So now look at it. <coughs> it's got like a gazebo-like front. Should we still that bottle? Yeah. Plus I haven't been using this lately. And then hand it around. Can you use it? And there's where you go in. What's the first room you see? Looks like a living room. Does it say, it says living room? Amanda's room. The very first room? Oh, when you walk in, the sun parlor. Yeah, that's where we start. At, you open it up and there it is. This room has windows on three sides and a door landing to a window walk. That's the area you walk on the dark brown. All windows have been boarded up. So now it's dark in there. 
Um, some are broken, of course. But he was living here because it was out in the middle of nowhere, and people would leave him alone, and they wouldn't ask weird questions. I have a, I have the, the there, guide, so it. you guys will be sharing it. Well, you know what? I'm gonna change into my out my suit. Okay. Let me just do that quickly. Do you a spin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Woo! It's underneath your clothes. You wore two sets of clothes. Yep. You know she doesn't have her uniform all, around. You don't have your your Aurora costume. I know. No. No, you came naked. Where would you put it? That's right. It was up my butt. Well, now it's dirty. Now it's all brown. Now you know it's a brown star. Oh, God. That's me. Okay. Um, that you guys look in the doorway, and that's what you see. Uh, does anyone want to? Just... I'm going in. Okay. I am too. Uh, everyone that's going in, right away. Raise your hand. I'm going in. Everyone's like. <laughs> okay. Everyone, make an intuition check. Ninety-nine on a typical. I got a hundred mm -hmm. on an amazing. What'd you get? Thirty-three on a good. Okay, well, since you two got the high numbers, just as soon as you entered the room, you saw someone sitting in a rocking chair right in front of the fireplace. And then she disappeared. The ghost. On the wall is a big old, like, portrait of someone. You know, like most, that's it's like right above the fireplace type thing. Big expensive photo, you know, or not photo, it's a painting actually. An actual oil painting. What do you guys do? Start looking around. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, no. Where you're in the same room. You just didn't see the ghost. Oh. And you know, you, you're just like going, oh, shh, I forgot my uniform. Do you have an extra one of those? Make a reason check. Just in case. Typical. Okay. 96. Okay. Uh, he brings you out a uniform. Did you put on the uniform? Yeah. It's better than being than putting clothes on if it's tight. Us. Okay. I do not like that. Well, while well, they're playing clothes tag, what are you doing? I am <laughs> looking around. Okay. Make a intuition check. All right. 77. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to eat my finger again. I can't. Long now. Yeah, that's a yellow. Well, she'd have to actually swallow it. Did you swallow it? No. Then you didn't eat it. You just took a bite. Mm -hmm. Then you spit it out. Uh, She's not a cannibal. Mm -hmm. Except for when you eat your own nails. Okay. Oh, right here. Mm -hmm. As you went closer to look at the painting, underneath the painting is like a, a uh, um, plaque. Mm. And it says, My Lost Husband. Nathan. Uh, if you guys want to enter any room, you'll have to inform me which room you're going into. Living room. Head on into the living room. I'm going are you going to go in a group or are you going to split off into another direction? Kitchen. You're going to go to the kitchen? Is it nearby? Because she uh, can't teleport. Other side of the living room. So she, if she just went a different direction? Or what? She'd have to go through the hallway, dining room, then kitchen. Okay, so she wants to enter the hallway? Okay. Yeah. Uh, hallway. Well, since they mentioned first. Living room. In addition to dust and cobwebs, there's broken furniture in this place. 
hundred noises. Make an intuition check. Hmm? No, the two that went into the living room. Or what? You, did you go? No, I think I'm still in. Eighty-four on typical. What's it do? You got the chart. <laughs> You got two charts. How many charts you need? Yellow. So you're looking around, you see that the rotted carpet has large stain from a leak in the ceiling. From here, the uh, you can see the entrance into the dining room and the downstairs parlor, which are all like with large, wide arches, like even you know Sasquatch could fit in here. Okay, now, meanwhile, in the hallway on the other side of the building, no, just like over in another room, they split off right away. It's bad enough trying to keep clothes on her. She said, why don't you stay with the group? <laughs> the north wall forms a long I staircase. I know, A balcony overlooks this room from the second floor. Um, you make an intuition check. Me? Yes. <laughs> okay. Nope. <clears throat> Just these two. Nope. A good intuition. Sixty-two. What is it? Give me the mystical number. That is a green. Green. Well, that's good enough. Um, you Everybody see knows. an elderly woman holding a cat in her arms is in the hallway, looks at you like, what are you doing here? Well, oh, hey, I did, not, I did not see that. And then she comes moving at you really fast. I dodge her. Okay, make an agility check. Agility is excellent. Uh, 95. 95. Ooh. Ooh. You are, because you're quick. You're out of her way. She goes running through the hallway and into the, uh, the sun parlor that you just left. I it's after her. You go after her back into the sun parlor? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, you see her sitting in a rocking chair before the fireplace, and then slowly she fades away. Go, 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 go. Rock, roll, Raggy. Okay. Um, living room. Also, though, looking around the place, this damage in this furniture looks intentional. Like, things are broken more than, like, wear and tear. What do you want to do? Look around to see if I can see any, like, blood stains or something. Actually, you do. Small. But, like, someone wandered through this room. From the opposite side of the room. What's on the opposite side? Bookcase. Is it against the wall? Piano. There's well, bookcase and piano. Well, I'm looking for a room. What's the next closest room? Dining room. Dining room? Okay. Because it said it came from. Or what's the uh, next room? So that's the room they're talking about. There's a uh, blood and it looks kind of like it's splattered from that direction. About the same as you get if you had a nosebleed. I'll investigate it. So you're heading off in the dining room? What are you doing? You're back in the uh, sun parlor. Do you want to wait there or do you want to start following them? I am waiting here. You're going to sit down and see if it comes back? There's a seat right opposite. No, no, no. You're gonna go hang out with the kid? <laughs> <laughs> How old was that kid? <laughs> Too young.
young, even for Aurora, you bad man. Okay. Um, so, you're entering the dining room. This room is better shape than has been recently used. The oak dining room table is in good condition. It looks like it's actually been recently cleaned. Which could be, you know, if he eats the food there, he might just clean the areas he needs. And now both of you guys make intuition checks. My intuition is typical. Okay. Hopefully you will succeed. 79. Green. Now, you ready? Well, we, well, we don't have one. Shh, you're not there. <laughs> it happens, it starts at least, where they are. You both just barely quick enough. Notice, there's a guy in the corner of the room, like hanging onto the top of the arches. A big man. I'm a charger. A Canadian man. I'm a charger. A saber tooth man. I'm a charger. Okay. Um, first to go yeah. happens to be Northstar. I'm going to use my super speed and charge him. Okay. Go charge at him at Monstrous. Do it. Well, first of all, what's your. Um, Fighting. Oh, you're charging? Charge is, I almost forgot, endurance. What's your endurance? Excellent, and I rolled a 99. Well, then that doesn't really matter much. Well, it's red. Okay. 92. Monstrous. Okay. I'm surprised he's pretty resilient. What'd you get, 92? Yep. And roll that 20. And uh, that's 20. monstrous. 20. Oh, and also I needed an, an endurance roll. 65. Endurance is excellent. Yep. Okay, anyone over anything over 41, you're good. Um uh, what'd you roll on that die? 20? 20! Okay. Okay. Um, that's North Star. Oh no, a ghost. <laughs> the ghost has been defeated. Okay. At that also moment, also moment, as well as at that time, let me try that. Hey. The uh, two tentacles come flying from the uh, kitchen. And you're the other one in the room. So they're coming after you. Oh, great. No. They're coming after you. I'm not in the room. I'm in the other room. <laughs> he wants the birdie. I'm probably going to dodge at hand. Um, Isn't there if you do so, endurance? Well, no. What she, if she wants to dodge, you can either dodge or attack. You can't do both. But I'm what you could dodge. do is you could change shape. I want to dodge. Okay, make a roll on your agility. What is it? Excellent. Okay. I'm running out. No. Oh, man. Then you get hit. As uh, two tentacles come out of the kitchen, wrap around you, and do... 36 points damage electrical as it shocks you. Next is Aurora, who's probably heard 
especially if you something slams so at someone really hard, the house has probably moved a little bit. You heard a big bang back towards the others. I don't know what was up. You yeah. head that way? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. As you get to the room, you have your brother, like, already tangled one guy, as like up against the corner. And then you have um, her being grabbed by two tentacles from the kitchen. Well, hi, Guido. Can I help your brother? What do you do? I run up and I hit it. You're going to do the, the speed punch, I guess? Okay. Yeah. Make a fighting roll. Fighting is excellent. I can also heal myself. I'll do that later. 63 on an excellent. Roll back 20. Yep, so it's a remarkable roll. And 10? Okay. Okay. Um, then next would be me, as in the one you guys are tangling with. Uh, just fighting real incredible. Ninety-nine. Red. Okay. That means not very even. Even, because he went after the man first. No, you said odd or even. And I rolled an eight. Did I? Okay. Odd even. Okay. Sorry. Your your brother turned you in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's on tape. <laughs> so, um, you need to make a what's your endurance? What's your turn? Um, Excellent. Excellent. You need to make a roll for s kill. Oh, shit. Yeah. Roll. Sabertooth doesn't mess around. 65. That's a green. <laughs> and on a kill, that means you... Um, but you now have a stun. You have to go for a stun now. Roll again on your endurance. Am I out? Um, not necessarily. Roll on this. We just checked no. the final. 11. 11. Okay. Um, well, I'll let you roll if you want. Roll a die 10. Okay. For two rounds. Yes. He knocked you out. He hit you in some real painful area, I guess. Um, take your actual damage is. Um, 30. 30 points. Oh, wait. Yeah, 30 points. I had to double check the claws, make sure they didn't have any. You have 36 separate. points left. And you're unconscious, though. But in two rounds, you'll wake up. Or at least you're, like, crippled over in pain. I'm going to speed punch him. Snowbird's turn. <laughs> I'm going to turn into a polar bear. Do it. Make a roll on your shape change. What is it? Which is? No, amazing. just shape change. Amazing roll. Nope. I'm going to speed punch Sabertooth. You want to do your turn already? Yes. Is it my turn? Well, i got to do one thing, though. Um, is healing. Okay. I had to count for that. 
Now it's your turn. Roll agility first. Um, what are you doing? Speed punch. Speed punch? No, it's fighting. Straight up fighting. My fighting is excellent? Yeah. 82. Okay. That hits. No. Roll die 20. Hmm? No, oh, speed punch is remarkable damage. You're hitting them like five, six times 20. all at once. So that's 40 points. Took away everything he healed. <laughs> okay. But no, he's not down yet. Bastard. Uh, can sh me. Can't tell you who I am. Well, I. I'm just gonna. Well, you failed to change. You did. Take uh, 21 points damage as he shocks you again. That's my turn. Sabretooth, North Star. I only rolled a 14. I do nothing. I was starting to get a hope that I might win. And then I fucked up. Snowbird's turn. I'm gonna try to shape shift again. Okay. Do you have a, a form you're going to? A Polar bear. bear. Okay. What'd you get? 23. No, I failed that one too. Okay. Oh, Must be the electricity going through your body. It's hard to keep your concentration up. That's one out for her. North Star again. What do you do? Same thing. Go again then. Roll. Uh, fighting is excellent. You need a 41 hit. 100. Okay. Um, blunt attack. Let me check for stun on him. Nope. Um, you already have him against the wall, so you can't slam him. Well, actually, you guys, can, let me check something. Okay. He guys just went through that wall. Fell. What's the next room? Or is it outside? <laughs> you guys just went outside. Somebody okay. died 20 roll was a 20. 20, so that's 40. I'll have to repair this lady's house. Yeah, so there's have to be the same thing as his giving. So he just doesn't get to heal every damn time. He heals back 40 points and it goes away. It's almost like fighting Wolverine for him. Oh. Um, well then, since I don't have to roll to hit you, because I've already got you wrapped up in, in my coils, take. Uh, 39 more. I took 20 more last time. Yeah, you did. It all depends on the roll. I rolled a 1 last time instead of a 19. <laughs> she has body armor. When she's moving. If she does a rapid punch, she has to stop moving. Rapid punch means no movement. But... Um, she's only down one more round. You should start doing your healing thing. <laughs> I know, you probably don't That's feel it, but she's doing it. Okay, yeah. you, well, if you change into animal, it would break you free of the uh, coils. So I can see why you keep trying that. It would yeah, fix a lot of things. That's why I keep trying. But it is my turn. No. I'm going to do the, take them up into the air and slow them down to the ground. You're going to do the whole air to yep. the ground thing? Yep. Um, agility. First agility. Which is an excellent. 
95. Flight. Which is monstrous. 67. And then back to agility. She don't want to hit the ground. Agility else again. Excellent. Right. 96. Okay. I think that's three things in one round. So you, since you were outside, make advantage of that, huh? Uh, roll die 20. 20. Dice eats me. Would you like a, your own set of dice like this? Yes, please. Okay. Since I missed your first day. Mm -hmm. I owe you a crazy. Uh, you know what? <laughs> uh, what you um, oh, there's his healing. Much higher than I thought, but it wouldn't have been enough for that. So he hits the ground. He's. It seems not breathing for a second, then he starts breathing again. I'm going to punch him in the face one more time. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you a second turn there for that. The speed punch. Okay, roll. Fighting. Fighting is excellent. 84. Okay. Die 20. 18. Okay. <laughs> so that's what you're doing. Now, back inside. Oh, he's busy too. We're taking him off the list, actually. He's not, he's not invited to play anymore. Snowbird! I'm gonna try and shape shift into a polar bear again. Okay. Roll. Hey, hey. You know there is such thing as karma. Yeah. True. What'd you roll? 88. I got an 88. Good luck, you know. Okay. You change. Yay. Um, What's the strength for the bear? Remarkable? Excellent. Um, so if Bill doesn't get here by the time the game is over, you want to ride with me on Rich and drop him off? Sure. Hey. Wanna see my sheet? Yeah. You look confused. I looked confused, yeah. Okay. Um. Confuzzled. Confuzzled. Pause, excellent. So your strength's Confuzzled. excellent. Mm -hmm. That's basically what does damage, so. Yep. You roll on an excellent. Okay. Razzle mazzle. Oh my god. Use both hands to roll. That helped better. I'm only 71. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I got okay. 71. You're free of the tentacles. Yay! Merp and And you're a polar bear. <laughs> I forgot what that one was, though. I probably have to change back into my new self. Um, but because North Star's beating someone up outside, <laughs> you have an extra turn. Yeah, those are worth for. I'm gonna go help North Star. Oh, no, can't. Right. Oh. What just attacked you? Doc Ock. Doc Ock. No, yeah. actually. Tentacles. It's bad that it happens to follow, but it's someone else with tentacles. Oh, jeez. Constrictor. Bitch. Oh, God. The big electrical. Uh, tentacles? I'm probably gonna corner. <laughs> you fit your big boy into the kitchen. Damn polar bear. Yeah, he's in the kitchen. He was attempting I could have done it. my owl, but that <laughs> would have been too small to. Oh my god. You know, Snowbird. Snowbird, if you were a guy, I'd go for you, but I don't like animals. Snowbird. <laughs> wait, 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 okay. Would you like bears or animals? Um, That's what I meant. Wait, wait. So, oh wait, Aurora. You're able to move now. <laughs> Yay! What do you want to do? I already took Sabretooth down. He's outside. Um. But she doesn't know that. She's got to pee up. I'm waking up now, so I'm going to go. You see a polar bear in the room. You know it's probably Snowbird. Hey, Snowbird! <laughs> and she's heading towards the kitchen. But you know, bears like going into the kitchen. What do you do? And you know, Sabretooth clawed you, and that's why you hurt. He, like nailed you right in the rib cage. I don't know. I'm not healed yet. I need to be healed. Okay. I'm a polar bear right now, so I can't heal you. 
Towards Constrictor, yes. make a fighting roll. Your claws are excellent. We'll just use that. Excellent. 44. That's a green. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, it is. It's just a green. <laughs> 40. Emo. 40 would have failed. Do you remember my emo? Old I 20. Yes, I do. I love yeah. my hair was. 7. 7. So that will be. 17, and that's enough to get through the armor. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a sight check to see how he responds to a bear in front of him. 73. Looks good. Chances are he has an idea that it's you then. But that doesn't stop it from happening. He got cut. Okay. Um, Yay! First to go is North Star. I'm going to... Uh, is he out? Uh, Sabretooth, he's between that and death, but he's, he's going to come back. I'm going to call Heather. Okay. And have them come get his dumb ass. They'll send RCMP straight up. You think he may have been the one that did it? I'm not sure, but he was here at the mansion. So you're making connections and calling in the enforcements. Back inside. Um, fighting is good. <laughs> so one. Yellow. Hit you, um... Okay, uh, just don't check on the damage and stuff. Um, we should do. Thirty points damage. He hits you with him. He does not grab around you this time, though. He just punched you. As a bear. So you have the bear health now. Okay. The changes between um, heal it up. So what was the damage? 30. He punches you with a gigantic... It doesn't have the end pieces like Professor Ox has. It's more oh, just okay. like a snake edge. Okay. Um, Aurora's turn. I follow Bear into the other room and you see this guy Dun! with big metallic tentacles coming from his arms, and that's what he's fighting with. He's mm -hmm. wearing a green snake like costume. I fly up above him. I do the head. Going on his You just gonna do a normal punch or a speed punch? Speed punch. Mm, normal because so you wanna keep your armor. Yeah. What's your fighting? Good. Excellent. Fighting is excellent. What's your strength? Strength is typical. Okay, cool. Is that odd nine or ninety? Odd nine? That's a ninety. Well, which one's supposed to be first? The gold? Yeah. Okay. Ninety. Ninety. And roll a die ten. Just one. Foe. Foe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Um, he has a kind of a lick, or a thick lick. A thick, uh, helmet he has, so you hit him on top of the helmet. 
and it did not get through. Well, and it's like punching a tire on a car. The suit's kind of made of rubber, so it's not a, you can't be electrocuted. You must sweat a lot, or at least stink. Now that, you, now that you're near him, you can smell it. <laughs> Ew! Snowbird. Dirty bullshit. I'm gonna go ahead and touch him again. Go ahead. Fighting. Don't get Excellent. the cheese on your claws. No. Nope. Did you hear about the video about the bear and the dumpster at the uh, weed store? Walked up, grabbed it, and backed it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. So is that the bear you are? No. What's your roll? Nothing. Nothing. She didn't make it. Okay. Yeah. She sucked. Oh, this North is Star. Do they come get him yet? It's going to be a while. We're talking in the middle of combat. Horrible. You're going to stand outside and wait for it all, or are you going to go back inside and help? I'm going to fly in. Okay. Hit him three times. Okay. I'm still up in there. I'm still. So you're in the kitchen now. In the middle of the kitchen, there's not a lot of space because it looks like the entire furnace for the house is just sitting like in the kitchen, like it's just been dropped there. We could blind the motherfucker. Yes. Why don't we do that? We have light generation. If you touch. I fly in, grab her hand, and hit it. Well, you're doing it, and it's off your electric yours, which is monstrous, I think. Yeah. Roll. Okay. Nice. Um, roll die ten. Six. Okay. And then you need a reason check. A reason? Yeah, not to look. <laughs> hey, oh. Or you blinded to. Eighty-two. Woohoo! Okay. You, you do. You saw when they came when they came close together. No, you saw my hand go. <laughs> um, he starts uh, backing up against the wall because he's blind. Who is up now? Um, no, him. He can't see. He can't so. See. Do you think a blind man can't punch you? He's actually just going to start flailing with the electrical <laughs> cables on him. 59. Everyone make an agility roll not to get hit. My agility is excellent, Devin. Yep. So 99. I got a 72. Excellent. Okay. 68. Or 86, yeah. 86. He's the one who made it. Okay. Um, you're all out of it, but he is swinging these electrical cables, so if you come within an area of him directly that's in front of him, you might get hit. Now, with your guys' speed, you might be able to get in. But if you get hit because you failed your roll, you will get shocked. I'm going to tackle Okay. Agility monstrous roll. Because otherwise you can 83 on agility. 94 on monstrous. Okay. And die 20. 20. Okay. You knock him out, but you take 30 points damage. As no, his cables. Hmm? No, How much here? What do you mean, no, Excellent you body armor. So you take 20 points off, you take 10 points damage. Has a little bit of electricity, soaks through your body until he goes unconscious because the cables fall on you guys. Now, but he's out. It's not that time yet. So we go back here. So um, let's let's cover some of these areas. You kind of trashed the kitchen. I don't really know if there should be any more information here for you. Um, the kitchen is old-fashioned. The linoleum is peeled away, and the wallpaper is slightly rotted. The old furnace has been dumped in the middle of this room on its side. Okay. 
That looks recent. It does look like there's dust on this. There's also kitchen in the, or there's food in the stove, in the uh, refrigerator. <laughs> there's food in this kitchen. I said we go upstairs. Okay, give me the first room. As you're waiting for him to show up, you tie him up. Or do you want someone to watch him? Aurora! Watch him. Hey, it goes to the I watched him escape. <laughs> I go make myself a sandwich from now. Okay. It just says open the first floor. Does it say what room you'd hit? Let me see it then. Hey, Guido. I don't have a copy of it. I gave you my copy. Okay. Looks like a hallway. Yeah, it'd be a hallway. There's a bedroom, bathroom, everything except for the sun parlor, which is back, which is kind of like downstairs. Or there's an upstairs sun parlor, too. Like it slightly overlaps it. Guido, no! So, you need to stay out of the second room. What do you want to see? Let's go into the bedroom. The upstairs bedroom? Check it out. These were once guest rooms. They are now entirely empty. The dust in the hallway. Everyone making it. Anyone that enters, so not you. When we're done, we gotta check on you. 99 on my. Well, we can have you check the kitchen. Make a roll for that. What? 99 on typical. How about you? No, op one. Op one? She didn't want to look. She's like, I'm afraid. Is there anyone there with arms? Eighty-three. Eighty-three. Okay. Um, first of all, here. Um, there's dust in the hallway. Has small footprints in it. <coughs> Must be the kid. Now, the kitchen. Uh, what'd you roll? Eighty-three. Eighty-three. Okay. While well, you're in here making a sandwich. Um, hey, I got hungry. Am I allowed to be hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? Oh, wait, you're talking to con uh, Constrictor. Yeah, he's in there like, like, knocked out, staring at you. Exactly. What am I not allowed to be hungry? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a mess in here and you found food. What was there would have been like taken down in the fight. So, um, and you guys yeah, have some bread in the fridge. Found you found food. You made sandwich. You're doing good. I found mail. I found. I'm gonna follow the footprints. Okay. Um. They enter the hallway. I follow. It looks. Make an intuition check. They don't state, so, but I know where they're supposed to end up. 96. They head back to Amanda's room. We'll go there. Okay. Oh, Amanda, we're going to your room! I guess you should have known that was the name of the lady. <laughs> A female's room, except for the few cobwebs, this room is perfect condition. Far door leads to the sun parlor, it's open. And in the bed, someone is sleeping. I see if it's the kid. Okay. Like, do you go over there and say, hey, kid! Or do no. you, like, nicely check? I'm going to nicely check. Okay. Make an intuition check. It's not punch, punch, punch. Oh, maybe it is. 89. He th definitely wasn't him. <laughs> Covers it up. Um, Yes. It is Ron Landers, Jamie's friend. What do you do? I'm gonna wake him up. Okay. Um, you would have woken up. You don't need to roll for that after a while. He wasn't dead or anything. <laughs> um, he rubs his eyes and he explains his. I entered the house and. And I saw that guy with the funky arm, like snake-like arms. 
He's been taken. Then I ran upstairs to hide. I don't know how I got into the bed, but I sleep for a long time. Your friend's worried about you. He's outside. He had oh, so many okay. Just let him run out. Or walk I... out slowly. Lead him out there. Yes. Um, while he's doing that, Snowbird, do you follow her? Do you like check any other rooms? No, I'm going to follow. Okay. Are you just eating a sandwich, sitting there talking to him until they show up to get him? Yeah. Okay, give it about half an hour. They'll show up. Helicopter, proper equipment to take him away. What about Sabertooth? Well, he's the easier one to deal with. He's ours. Uh, Constrictor will have American lawyers, I'm sure. But until then, I'll hold him. But he's also not a mutant, so he's easier to deal with. We didn't need to call in the military or anything, huh? No. Yeah. We checked to make sure we weren't crossing airspace and they were all like attitude about it. So, they take them away. Well, here's your karma. Everyone that's been hurt can heal twice their endurance back. Does that cover everything? You still have, you're completely ill. Okay. Okay. Um, here will be your karma. You write this down. You found the house. I just kind of like told you to get there. You defeated Sabretooth. He was worth 30. Um, those that fought Constrictor, which oh. was everyone, yep. is 20. Did anyone attack the ghost? No. Good. That'd be me. Who found Ron? Me. Northstar gets bonus 15 for being good. Um, I'm going to take 10 points away from Aurora, for she was temporarily defeated. It says 20, so I'm only taking half points. Hey! Now. Now. After they leave, do you guys want to actually check the rest of the house? Uh, you guys have not checked half the house. I know. Yeah, I'm going to check. More the house. I'm going to wait and Pick see. Room. I'm going to wait and see if the girl shows up and I'm going to try to talk to her. Where are you going to go? Where she usually sits in the rocking chair next to the fireplace. Ah. She's going to sit in the chair across? Yes. Okay. Um, we'll give them a couple of checks. Pick a room, each of you. Um, Aurora, you're in the kitchen for a while. Make an intuition check. See if you notice something that's not really listed on there. I'm going to check one of the bedrooms uh, upstairs. Upstairs bedroom? 83 on a good. Um, there's only two bedrooms upstairs, isn't there? Yeah, I'm going with... So you better, oh, you want to go check Amanda's. Um, Are you wanting to check Amanda's or... The first bedroom we hit. Just a regular one? The only thing that was in there was the uh, footprints on the ground. This is where the kid hid originally. That's right. What'd you get? What room? What room? Uh, Amanda's room? No, you had a roll for you had a roll for the kitchen. That's right. You found a door to a basement in the kitchen. I'll go up and down now. There's a rickety old staircase going down into the basement. And it's dark. I don't walk down there. I fly down there. You gonna fly down? You cheater. Here, that's going. Yeah, I know. Go ahead and answer. I'm watching you. 
Ha ha ha, he says. Hello? Oh no, it, we're allowed to answer if it's family. Yeah. We're allowed to answer the call if you have a Why? What's up? Okay. Um, Amanda's room, right? Or, or no, you're in that, you want to check the basement? Go into the basement. Oh. The basement. Basement is, since, since you didn't step okay. on the stores, or the stairs, I won't make you roll for the rickety okay. staircase. The basement is filled with high, with computers and a radio hookup. Okay. That's okay. 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 Hmm? He, she checks out the computers. Turn the computers on? Okay. Right. Reason check. Her reason is poor. Okay. You don't use computers much. That's a nerd thing. No. Twelve. You don't know how to turn it on. Do you want to go get someone? Or do you want to like start kicking it? I keep... You're not there. I want to go... This one. Okay, who? What? North Star? Okay. No. So. No. Not, while no, she's go going through the dresser and the bathroom, in that one room she checked, make sure she didn't miss anything. Um, hey, no, Aurora no. comes out to you as you're I waiting. I need you to come down here and help me with something. Okay. It's, it's Is it computers again? Yes. Yeah. It's your evil plastic toys. You go down the basement? Yeah. Ow. I'm going to fly down there. God damn it. Yeah. I ain't falling on those stairs. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like they will fall. You might want to warn Storm. It's numbered. Uh, computers. I don't care. Uh, you turn it on. Make a reason check. I don't freaking care. 99. Untypical. You got it. Uh, basically, as you look at them all, they have information sure that contain and, and relate to, as well as there's some VCR player and some, like, cameras or old uh, TVs. All this concerns the James Bay Project, number seven. Is there a printer? Yeah. I'm a printer. Well, there's a bunch of stuff. You just start printing it all up. First, I'm going to call Heather. Okay. Let her know about it? Yep. Well, that could have been the project he was on. That could be his computer. Um, he'll, they'll mention a, a serial number for it. Make a reason roll to see if you're able to locate everything. That way they can verify if it was actually 97. His. 97. Yes, that is his computer. All right. Who is he? VCR tapes also are labeled the same place. They're old, like training videos. Wonder if that's what those two were here for. Um, the furnace is also missing from down here. That's absurd. So, um, what were you doing? Oh, you went, went to check the room. To I'm going to allow that you find a pendant. Mm -hmm. An oil painted pendant. Mm -hmm. right. You open it up. Mm -hmm. Like a little one, but it's got, because they didn't have photos set. Can I go back and wait for her now? Yes. It has a picture. One side is that guy that's picture is up there. I'm still on her. I'm going to call her. Late husband? It's what we think. Yeah, it said late husband. The other side you don't identify, but it's a lady. I'm gonna Matter of fact, it looks like it could have been a younger version of the one you saw for a second down by the fireplace. I'm going to take it and show it to North Star. Okay. I'm going to... North Star, make a psych roll. My psych is good. 99. No. You hear a voice? 
whisper in your ear as Snowbird comes walking up. He goes, go away! Go away! Go away! <laughs> I look at her and go... Let me see your character sheet. Okay. There's ability that listed here that I'm hoping is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now she's going to look. I'm not Nathan, but I'm here if you would like to talk. It becomes quiet. The room's not cold anymore. It's not hidden between the clear and the... It's there. <laughs> okay. Um, so we've checked the hallway. Has anyone been into the downstairs parlor? Uh, I'll go. <laughs> I was you guys say, can choose yeah, rooms. What? Bitch! What? There! Oh, I had missed. That's right. I had mystic senses. I forgot about that. Post cognition. She can see like the. And past. mystic sense. Yeah, they work together. I was like that. Bitch! Not for me. This will fix it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was trying to do. Um, the downstairs parlor, this room is empty and covered with dust and cobwebs. But in the dust are footprints of two men wearing soft-soled shoes. One of these men is wearing dress shoes, as well as a child wearing soft-soled shoes. Oh, God. Okay, Borum, did you, does, does there room that, okay, did anyone check, you check the living room? Yeah. You did the dining room? Yeah. You did the kitchen? Yeah. Upstairs bedroom? Yes. No one even wants to look at the library? I'll go. I will follow her in the library. Okay. Give me the next one. She's a bear and I want to get a knife by you. Room no, contains... back to human form. Mildew. No. Stained <laughs> memorabilia from, like, boat travel. Some actual like old style maps of like the north. Um, some animal skins, some books about northern Canada and the polar regions. The library also contains books, but they're all damaged. But from the titles, like water damage, um, on meteorology, glaciers, and the legends of the Inuit, the Eskimos. And then we did Amanda's room, the sun parlor in the basement. I think we have checked that little square out. Can I? Pretty much go, Amanda, are you here? Do a cycle. Um, you see an image for a second, like it just fades, like she doesn't have a lot of energy, of her standing by the window looking outside, but she's sad. And then a book falls off the shelf. I look at the book. It's the, uh, it's called the Great Northern Passage. But it's written by H.G. Wells, so it's not real, but... I'm going to let her know that we may have found her necklace. No response. Finding of the computers was worth 10 karma. And we end that chapter. What time do we have? 8.35. Should we wait and... Give him a break? And maybe he'll show up 
And we'll let Guido go out because she's been bugging him. So, we're going to take an early break. Get your mm -hmm. snacks mm -hmm. and everything. Go pee. I need to go to the Let's go ahead, Aaron. And hit my feet numerous times. Hit the button. Uh-oh. Be back. Happened? I'll tell you outside. I'm sneaking up behind you. Sneaking up behind you? Sneaking up. Okay, good. I don't want to know the other ones. Come on, Queen. Right. Cutie, cutie, cutie. Is she in there? Nope, here she nope, comes. Here she She's not missing this.
Why is that spinning? Lunch. Well, that's that's your issue, not mine. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Son, back to the show. But I want a peanut butter and jelly wrap up. It's taking forever because it's honey. And it drippy and sticky. And... Ah, perfect. I must bring my kitty in and we'll be ready.
Everyone's coming in, Guido. And now, Guido, I don't know where the whale is at. She also lost a grasshopper recently, so we got new ones. I threw its dick ropes away. <laughs> Are you gonna join us or not? Yes. You gotta finish eating quickly. You'll be sitting on this side closer to me so we don't have to move anyone. you narrating your story by the camera? No, sorry. Hey, did Guido get her treat? Yes. Hey, won't you sit down? We're already live. I'm just still waiting for. You don't break. need a pencil. Oh. She'll hit you from over there. <laughs> or still audio, they can still hear us. <laughs> I didn't do it. Don't make me have to do it. Take your ass up into there and slam you down on the ground as fast as I can. God. <laughs> I took down Sabertooth. It's not the same. Is it like fucking hang loose? Yeah. No, it says. That could be a bong. <laughs> so the doctor finally shows up to the house. He stayed at the holiday, the hospital opening. Well beyond. I tried to get back. Tried. You live so in there? Yeah. Okay. Well, we are on a time limit. Yeah. 
Well, North Star's not happy with Sasquatch anyway, she doesn't Hanging around his sister too much. Hanging with your sister too much? <coughs> you are, yeah. Sorry. Oh, pervert. What? I couldn't watch what was going on, so... Protective brother, you fucking pervert. I don't know what's going on. No, I'm talking to Sasquatch, fucking pervert. What'd he do? If you're not here, he's not here. Oh. It's just, you know, you've been dating Aurora. Yeah! What? <laughs> I didn't know. Bullshit! He read the comics. Oh, yeah. But that's later. I don't care! Wait, what? <laughs> Well, Aurora and Sasquatch have been dating. Uh, no! In the comic book. No! Yeah, well, that's, we're playing a comic book game. We're building drama for the poor pu viewers staring at a picture of Alpha Flag. <laughs> what? What did I do? Watch your back, fuzzy butt. So who made the uh, matching superhero suits? For who? For Aurora and Northstar. I had them custom made. <laughs> she just wears whatever you put on her. Yep. Or takes it off. Yeah, you missed Aurora flying around naked. In Canada. She I probably didn't get cold until she stopped moving. I am going to go over there and I'm going to slap that hairy fucking face of yours, you fucking Sasquatch. <laughs> hey, you want to fill it in on what you did find out at this place? <coughs> no. <coughs> okay. <coughs> he shows up after the, the uh, helicopters take away the people you beat up. You're late. Me? Not you. <coughs> I'm just yelling at your boyfriend! <coughs> uh, who's my wife? This is Asquatch occasionally. I did not know who was my wife. Well, just because you dated a couple times doesn't make it boyfriends. <coughs> She dates lots of men. He just drew a number. What was it? Number 1,997? Or 96. Are you saying I'm easy? I'm not saying you're not. Got a haircut? I did. Fighting the stupid thing with who's... Oh, finally they're playing a character. Sorry. Sasquatch looks over. Got a haircut? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, let me go get those freaking glue webs. Okay, we're back actually now. Uh, I ain't feeling a love. She's lying down. She's, she's not feeling good. She's not feeling good. I mean, uh, okay. Um. I should say your husband. At least I'm married. <laughs> hey! My job <your> business! <laughs> what do you do? Look at him and say, hey, you're late, Bigfoot! Been busy. Yeah, doing what? Wiping your ass with rabbits? How'd you know? <laughs> Just joking. Or prancing around in Aurora's panties. 
<laughs> well, bet. And how do you know? <laughs> Have you tried? We're not going there. <laughs> argument that happens between the two. North Star usually wins it. <laughs> yeah. Like, but not, not if he gets distracted by someone on the way. Maybe I should bring your boyfriend. His name's Kyle. He has a name. <laughs> What's your plans now? Boys and girls? Where are we? Go on to our next mission. Well, you found out. You okay? Find out why he was investigating it. Okay. That's still part of the first mission. Okay. So what where do you want to go? Who's he? First off. It would be uh you know, Ross. You know. Oh, not Ross. Um, uh, Cody. I'm gonna go talk to Cody. Okay. Well, he'll say. Uh, I would say. Uh, the only thing you have for any information at all was the uh, the plant, the James Bay hydroelectric plant. Then let's go there. Okay. Um, hey, Roar. Let me race you here. Uh, no, Give me a no, second. No, no, no. Talk with Heather. We might be able to get Chicka some, uh, you know, as long as you don't go in your hairy form. Some, like, identities for you guys. Sneak in. Look okay. around like they don't expect you. And do that. Wear your clothes. Regular clothes. No. No. Wear she clothes. She was last time. She just showed up and the first person to see her is a seven-year-old boy. You're naked. Yes, yeah, he was. She was. Mm. She's in her uniform now, which is fine because it's really tight on the skin and it's nice. The James Bay Hydroelectric Project I like it I like in northern it. Quebec is one of the largest of its kind, dwarfing Hoover Dam and the TVA. The mighty rivers of the North Country have been harnessed and their power has made Quebec one of the most energy rich states in the world. Mine. Excess power lights the other provinces of Canada and is fed into the United States' eastern seaboard. Power grids providing electricity to the sprawling megacity that runs from Boston to Washington, D.C. Canadian government is, in conjunction with the American corporations, has been very interested in James Bay's project number seven, soon to become the world's largest generator of power in the free world. Now someone else is interested. Someone whose made motives are less than pure. Um, they give you identities as government uh, inspectors said to uh, make sure they meet all their qualifications. Um, I guess that's going to have to be you, mostly. Because I'm a doctor. Well, for the technical words. Mm -hmm. In case it comes up. You could always just speak French. Unless they <laughs> speak French. Well, you could expect everyone to. And that's an identity um, all on its own. He's a uh, French-Canadian, so he speaks both equally. It is his, his, both of them are his first tongue. Because he grew up there. Okay. But English is always smaller. <coughs> um, you've come as government inspection team visiting James Bay. Security passes for your secret identities and to have use of a O'Hara Skylighter, a jet copter, which will bring you in. Um, Heather accompanies you 
Cody is staying behind to uh, check on, make sure, because no one's like checked to see how he's doing. So he's going to go do that. <coughs> you should be meeting Ross Kincaid. He should be the chief engineer of the plant. So, uh, do you guys have names? First names? Just pick a first name, that's all I need. Determines your entire identity. <laughs> um. Lisa. Lisa? Lisa. Lisa? Okay. What do you have? Francisco. Francisco. Lisa uh -huh. and Robert. Richard Fran Franium. Francisco. Lisa. Richard Cranium. <laughs> Richard? No, he said Robert. Robert, I, I knew it was a B one. They are they're all the same. Okay. Do I get an issue for you? No, we don't need that. I could have went with Francois. Yeah, you could also just pick up anything that would give you like the annoying French accent to it. <laughs> I always feel that's just You like to be annoying Can you speak French? Yes you can. But only I think in her other identity. Is he one or is she the, the The teacher. She speaks both. Yeah. It's a teacher. That's why it's not on there. You can't. You don't know why she, he speaks that tongue. I don't like kid either. It's good, not me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ross Kincaid, chief engineer, meets you guys at the helicopter pad. He's a burly, friendly man with a Caroline face. Cordial to the visiting inspectors. Um, he's like, I'd love to discuss any problems with you or anything to help us meet these enhanced deadlines. Um, if it doesn't look like the government's going to allow us to push back any. He looks at you with a kind of question in his mouth. Waiting. Waiting. Um, could we walk through the uh, area and you can tell us more about it? Oh, sure. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, takes you, he'll, he'll take you around himself. So, uh, as he's walking around, everyone make an intuition check. What's your intuition? Good. So you need a 46. You got a 91. Yeah. I'm good. A number 10. 41 on a good. You did not make it. <coughs> 91 on a triple. Uh, yellow. Okay. Uh, well, I guess the two of you that are with him uh, notice he's kind of sometimes talking about. Uh, he's talking to. Uh, oh, what's his name? Um. No, it doesn't give a name. You don't know his name. He's a just a worker. They're kind of talking as they're going through here, and they they're talking about a uh, professor. You know, will these guys help deal with Professor Greg Anders? Um, that environmentalist will not be able to lobby, get enough money to lobby any problem against the James Bay project. They're arguing back and forth over it. Um, after a while, he'll turn around to you guys directly and say, yeah, our, except for him, our major problem around here is uh, theft of supplies. Like on a large scale. I'm talking large generators <laughs> so no just walking up and walk, you know running off with it no but we're not having any reports or anything or if we are uh, they're not getting to me so um have you checked the security cameras 
Well, most of the time they have, well, every time the uh, camera's shut down. So it's someone doing it on the twister. Uh, or the guy that's standing next to him, this is Bigfoot. Oh, when Dingo. Okay, okay, just go back to the idea, please. Go away. Go away. Um, so. I would think but want to generate. Or the Wendigo. Yeah. It's stupid, even if they did exist. Um, but our problem right now is our project is behind schedule. Um, boss from Ottawa and New York are pushing for rapid completion. It needs results in the hopes of the government consulting. Well, you guys will be able to help me, right? <coughs> Anything? We will see what we can do. Okay, so you guys can just walk around the plant. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let's get a plant. We need to live in the forest. Um, well, usually. There. How were they here? Error. <laughs> Shh. We barely understand. You can barely understand clothes. Shut up. No. <laughs> I need just put on a few of them. <laughs> hey, North Star. You hearing this conversation? I am going to beat the shit out of you. You, I will sew your twat shut. <laughs> I think we're making her mad. We're making him mad. Uh, you have to kind of... Um, the guy that's with him, Anders, I guess we finally do get a name, Anders, um, says, listen, I don't know what he has planned. But, you know, you guys need to continue on this walk with him, or we're right by the vehicle, and we can head right down, and I'll show the footprints. I'll go. So basically, you we're breaking into two around. groups. I'm right. No, you can walk. Okay. So, we have Aurora and Sasquatch standing together. And North Star left. First thing you go is like, oh, I thought he'd never leave. <laughs> she starts getting a little sexier about her walk. <laughs> I ain't doing anything wrong. I'm just trying to do my mission. <laughs> okay. You're going to get me in trouble, aren't you? He's my protection. He's a lot wrong. Who went with Anders? Okay. Tells you... <laughs> that the best tracks can be found in some mud flats about a quarter of a mile away. I believe it's Bigfoot. Uh, you know, he, got, he escorts you through some high grass in the flats. Um, goes on about his theory. He believes that the tracks are made by a tribe of Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch. Uh, believes that the rising waters from the James Bay Number 7 habitat have flooded the area and they're moving in from up from the valleys. Believe that the thefts of the footprints are the result of the Bigfoot being forced out of their homes. When we ride to the flats, you see that he describes huge humanoid tracks embedded deeply in the thick mud. Make an intuition check. Mm -hmm. That would be a red. Okay. Um, you've seen Sasquatch footprints. <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> Sneaking up outside the window with the North Star. Going to get him burned. He's going to wake up on fire. That won't be a hot blanket being thrown on you. You need a real big one. It looks like a human foot. Huge, though. Oh, like... On. Like a juggernaut. But, like, naked foot. Like a Sasquatch footprint. But with no claws. 
no claws, no fur, it's, it's hairless. Because his feet are kind of like his hands. Well, yeah, you do. He does have a toe that's over like this. He looks like an orangutan. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and so does his feet. And my sister wants to see. Well, she didn't want him hairy. She's... I didn't know she was in the bestiality, that nasty bitch. <laughs> you don't hear me saying it because you're not here. Okay, Ross Kincaid takes you two on a tour of James Bay Number no. 7 hydroelectric plant. It explains in addition to the standard construction techniques, the plant uses many experimental methods. Of them involves the use of lithium tungsten coils in the main generators. He shows you the generator room where the coils are now being installed. It is a voluminous, voluptuous, <laughs> weird word to use, structure, but looking at it that way, filled with construction mechanics and lit by skylights 40 feet above the floor. Soon, Kinkin tells you the plant will be humming with whirling generators and electricity. Suddenly, the skylights are shattered and four men are flying armor zoom into the vault like generator room. Um, looks like the main guy wears blue and white armor. It says an Irish brogue. Don't even try. Don't even think I'm moving, boyos. That's horrible. This is a robbery. No one moves. No one gets hurt. If I was there, you know what I would have done? Oh, I moved. Oh, I moved. Hey, you want to hear what happens to you? At that same moment, suddenly the air is shattered by a sound of an explosion coming from the power dam site. A flash of green in the air catches your eye, and even from this distance, you recognize... Make an intuition check. Red. Hulk bouncing into the website, into the work site. Fuck! She's been rolling dice physically, hasn't she? Use your brain cup. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, we got two groups. Let's do it this way. Um, first, you two. Roll dice six. We got sass. Sassy. Oh, what are you are going? Initiative. Oh, for two of them? Oh, okay. Individually. Wait, right, how many roll of situation? Aurora, you have a plus eight. Wait, a die 20 or? Die 20, sorry, die 20. Two. <coughs> plus, what's your? Uh, Ten. Four. Plus one. So that's three. Four. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Huh? My knuckle popped. Uh oh. We're going to have to cut it off now. Not like you we had a choice. You're, you're already a zombie. Feel like it some days. Okay. This module at certain points is written annoying. Okay. So, we have King Cage Group. Four men flying inside are wearing like, kind of looks like similar looking armor. Just very little to like the hand parts maybe, or what they're carrying changes. And, oh, um... Yeah. And four men flying in. <coughs> oh, that really is. And um Oh. 
you guys do anything as they said that? You should check that. Anyone do anything? We just like wait to see what they do. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait and see exactly what they're looking for. They head over to one of the generators. It's about the size like of a van, and uh, they throw it. They, uh, they have these big pads they attach to it, and they turn on, and there's energy flowing through it. You can see, and the item like lifts up a little bit. Gravity. Yeah, it, it, it could be. I walk over there to feel um, I don't mind. And then they divide it by they're hooking it up to a second one. Looks like they uh, are looking at like stealing two generators. Hey, what are you doing? Miss Step Back. We don't want to injure you. Um, you won't injure me, I'm more stronger than you are. Hmm? What are you doing? We're taking these. You won't, why, why are you... Why? What do you need them for? <sighs> Bring in the big guy. Um, gets this thing on his arm and... Crash in the center of the room, the Hulk slams down. You back up now? Um, Hulk looks around, glowing green eyes. Does he have any on him that he's being controlled by with a machine of some type? Nope, you don't say anything. Can we do something for you, dear? Get you some pain reliever. Do you need some? Yeah, no, chocolate too. I got to drive later. Correct. You gonna be all right driving? You feeling all right? Oh, you want to go as a passenger in the vehicle? Okay. The pain in my wrist just came back ten times worse. It's like this stuff just wore out. Yes. Could be. Instead of shooting up into my fingertips, it's going from here straight in my shoulder. I was doing that before. It's just getting worse. It's not getting better about that. Okay. Um, and let me write down. I need you, Hulk. though, because you, you're a lot strong. I'm as strong. Not as strong as him, down. but I can fight with him. You need to step up and, like... All right, you try and see if you can stop them. I'll take care of Big okay. and Green. Um, I assume you are going to be heading back to the location. That will be high speed, or you count as people moving high speed. So um, roll initiative roll. First to go is me. Um, let's say you have one that's near you, but he's not doing anything. So they're just stealing the device. Is anyone going to stop these guys here from stealing that device? One other thing. I will. Can you go at them? Okay. What do you do? I don't think I'm the upper level. Wait, let's see. Um, well, they're in the air, but that's not a problem for you, I don't believe. No, Next to go there. is, actually, is Hulk's just standing in the way. He's not doing anything, looking at you guys. Um, Marauder, who's this guy? One of those guys that Iron Man has to deal with sometimes. He fires his laser cannon into the ground. Huge amount of damage, but to tell you guys to get back. He's not attempting to hurt anyone yet. Mm -hmm. 
And we're at Aurora. I fly up and... Okay. Hit one of them in the head. One of these guys? Yeah. Bottom ones? Got it. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll a fighting roll. Or... You just punching them or are you doing one? a... What are you doing? Are you like... I'm punching them in the head. Okay. Fighting All roll. full four of them actually. Okay. Well... Fighting the duck for them? There's three of them. Yeah, three here of these guys. Excellent. So the other one's a little further away. Yep. 88. 88. Okay. So, are you punching each of them one time? Yes. Okay. Roll again. Okay. Burning up. No. Swollen. Yeah. Oh. Um, I don't know how it feels. Excellent. 65. Well, green. Doesn't matter. Hitting him was like hitting a trash can. It's like solid metal. So, that leaves Sasquatch. What are you doing? I become Sasquatch and I take a swing at the, the Hulk. No, the uh, <laughs> the other guy, the big this guy. This guy, Mauler. I'm gonna see if I can rip his uh, okay, wiring off. Okay, do a fighting roll. See if I can take his wiring off. Hey, that's a weird design. You ask me how it feels. Ninety-eight. Now, it feels like it's fucking broke. Okay. Ninety-eight. Mm -hmm. Oh. I honestly, I don't know what that feels like. I mean, I, I do not have that. I've never had it happen. Have um, you ever been kicked in the balls? Oh yeah, I've had that There you go. Uh, where is it? Body armor, there it is. I don't have my legs going. He rolled a 16 on his A20. 16? Yeah. That's 75, so that's plus 6. 81, armor, okay, you hit him pretty hard, next is, um, I, the big leader guy, I tried to take him out, yeah, you hit him, hit him pretty hard, but he's still up, Next is them, the littler guys. You guys are starting shit. Um, one. Okay. That was basically odd even, that's what I was saying. Um, he f points this arm thing at you, which like spins around to a type of energy beam and shoots you with its 79. You're I flying though, so you have 10 points armor. 40. So that'd be 30. Did I get that right? Yeah, 30 points damage. 30. Okay. What about my. I took the 10 points off for your armor. I already did that. Okay. 19. Um. Misses! Hulk comes lumbering at you and misses. You mean? Yeah. He's kind of dazed as far as I can tell. He missed you. Maybe it's just a bad roll. Maybe, maybe he is slow. Um. You're hoping it's, it's, it's that he's just slow. <laughs> so next is, oh wait, Marauder, did he go? Yeah, um, this one, no. So it is in my neck. So it's from here all the way up to this one. Oh, that's a die 20. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, three. Doesn't matter, I missed. Okay. Next is Aurora. What are you? After you were shot by one of the uh, raiders, they go back to work. They just want you guys to back up. I. What are you feeling with? Exactly what are you doing with these? Why are you stealing them? Because we don't have them and we need more. Well, we have some. We don't have enough. Okay. And what's your reasoning? Other than not having enough, what's your reasoning for stealing them? Because they're not everywhere. I can't go to Walmart and buy one. The other guys are laughing. Because they're waiting for the anti-grav. One's almost out of the room. I go after that one. Yeah, go grab it and drag it back down. Make a roll on your uh, speed. Monsters. Because you're putting your speed against its speed. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, you drag it back down some. It's, it's, it's coming back into the room. Um, next is Sasquatch. Uh, I'm going to try and take out that leader again. Okay. Uh, uh, 64. Okay, roll that twin. 17. Two. says you're pissing me off for a ball. <laughs> Just to let you know. North Star now enters the room. From above I take it in the hole in the roof. Um, the thing that was blocking the hole for a while is now being pulled back in. The generator. I'm going to slam into Hulk. Yeah, slam into Hulk. Roll. Into his head. Okay. Roll on what first? Um, you need to roll on first. Um, it's a charge, so endurance roll. My endurance is excellent. Okay. 99, which is a red. Okay, and then you need it on your speed. That's My what you're doing, speed right? Speed is monstrous. Eighty, which is yellow. Okay, and now you need to make a roll in your endurance to not like knock your ass out. My endurance is excellent. Ninety-nine. Okay, so that's oh, uh, you hit him. And kind of like, you feel a hit. He's like, oh. He hit him, but and it felt pretty damn hard. You, did, you hurt him. Yes, you did. So, but you didn't knock him. Well, I'm going back up into the air. Trying to get him to follow you. Um, I don't think he... Let's see, radius. Kip. They continue what they're doing. They're not really trying to pay attention to you much, the Marauders. Or, well, if you're beating on Marauder, the Raiders are just doing their job. They're just getting the stuff out of here. Trying. They're working on the other one. Um, so, we go to the Hulk thingy. <laughs> 55, 55. That hits. For 79 points damage. 
I mean? Yeah. Why? I haven't even met, messed with him. Oh, uh, you're you're the bigger of the two people in here. She's actually still dressed up as a scientist. Seventy-nine. Yeah, but you have what's your armor? Thirty. Uh, yeah. Let's see, armor. So that'd be forty-nine. Forty-nine. Yep. He punches you. So, um, make an intuition check. <gasps> What's your intuition? Intuition. Good, and I got a 41. No! No! Okay. This is just to check to see if you saw something. You didn't. Juju is getting your ass kicked. Yeah. Um... Mauler's going to go up and he grabs that generator and starts dragging it out. The other guy in the bigger armor. Um, check his flight. Do you want to do a flight versus flight on him? See if he can drag it back down again? Yeah. Okay, roll. Pretty much you yellow. Red will mean you're bringing it back down. Yellow means you locked it off. Okay, so it's not moving. You two are kind of dragging it back and forth, so you're kind of busy unless you want to let go. You want to do anything? You want to keep holding it? Yeah. Okay, Sasquatch. Alright, so she's fighting the, the guy I was hitting, or one of the other that guy? Um, Aurora? No, she's, yeah, oh no, yeah, it's the one that you were fighting. He's taken off, and he's trying to make sure the generator gets out of here. Because <laughs> she's dragging it back down, mm -hmm. and the generator is more important than you guys. You're, you're in the room. Okay. I'm in the sky. Uh, what about the other three guys? Are they just standing there? They're helping hook up the second one for it. I'm going to grab one of them and throw them at the Hulk. Okay. I'll uh, make a grab roll. That is on your strength. Eight. Monstrous. Okay. Um, so you grab him. And 19. Okay, and 19. Well, you throw him. You don't necessarily hit, it, hit the Hulk with him. I rolled I-20. Uh, 19. Oh, 19? Oh. No, and then another percentage number. She got rolled to hit him. Hit the, throw him oh, at the Hulk. Do that again? No, oh, first you, pick, you you grab the one guy. Now you got to throw him. I think it's a combination of... 79. Okay. So, and then you rolled a 16, you said? 19. 19. Okay. Okay, he slams into the Hulk. He's kind of dazed a bit, but he's getting up again. Is it my turn yet? Um, then the Hulk didn't fall down. No, I didn't think he would. <laughs> um, actually, though, he will take a little, a little damage. The guy or Hulk? Um, Hulk. The guy took a little damage. It took a lot more damage. Okay. I'm going to grab the guy that has the uh, generator. Yeah. Rip him up into the sky and slam him down onto the ground. Okay. Um, as you're doing that... Mm -hmm. He turns on his own jet, and he's resisting you. He's got nice jets. He's got actual double jets on each side to f for the extra flight power. So you're in a little wrestling match for flight. What's the plan? You keep you can still try it, but it's you know doesn't seem quite as much gonna work. And I forgot to check something. Him? Hold on. Uh oh. And he didn't let go of the generator. So he he went up with it. 
I'm gonna punch him as hard as I can in the fucking face. Okay. Go. Cause yeah, he's too busy. That would to be sleep on here. fighting. Yep. I'm gonna add twenty to it. Okay. with all that you, you crack through the glass plate a little bit in the face. Um, okay he drops the generator so it's flying downward. Okay you I'm fighting the Hulk. You have a hold of the generator. Ooh. Um, do you want to try to land it safely? That's the best you can do. You can't you don't have no strength to fly. Well actually, no, you're flying the other direction. First she needs a strength roll. What's her strength? Typical. Make a roll on your strength roll to see if they yanked it out of your hand when they took off. Sixty-five. You went up with them. So you have it, but you don't have enough strength to hold this thing from falling. What you can try to do is angle it down somewhere and land safely. Yeah, I do that. Okay, make a roll on your flight, which is monstrous. Basically looking like a f soft river bank or something to land it in. Mm. 42. Well, you have a monstrous, luckily. So, you're off doing that, trying to yeah, land that. that thing safely. Um... So you're busy. Next is Sasquatch. I'm going to see if I can grab another one of those generator thieves and throw him at the Hulk again. Okay. 93. Okay, we're all And a five. And a five. Okay. Um, did you roll the second one to hit him? Or was that already? That was just one. <coughs> okay. The second one is 87. Okay. Um, that one apparently throws a force field around himself, so he just hits the Hulk. Does a little more damage to him. Does it make them Hulk man? Um, he seems mad at you for some reason. And he comes at you. Uh, make an intuition check also. 86. Okay. Um, okay, you take. Oh, 37 points damage as he fires eye beams out of his eyes at you. 30. No! Yes. No! Hulk? Yes. Hulk. No! It's not the real Hulk, apparently. So it's 37? Yeah. It's not the actual Hulk. It's a robot. It's firing eye beams at you from its glowing green eyes. That's not the hole. So you know that now. Now I can destroy it. The robot. Not the hole. How do you know it's a robot? He fired eye beams at him. <laughs> he does know Bruce Banner. Is this a new one you have? Oh, I didn't mean to kill him. North Star. I'm going to punch him in the face again. You don't let him go? You let the thing fall? Okay. Make a roll on your uh, oh, fighting. Oh, 
Leonard. Okay, then roll die 20. 20. Hello? Hello? Alright. Oh, man. The Canadian system. Okay. Okay, sounds great. Okay. Well, if it's if, if you can do so without hurting yourself, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, I gotcha. see. Sounds good. Okay, 24th to 27th, Aurora's coming up, August. Okay. Sounds great. I love you too, bye bye. It's my daughter. Couldn't just ignore her too much. Is that a Wednesday? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You should play crew. <laughs> we'll have your whole crew out there that day on Sunday. Three or four people. Huh? I rolled a red. Yes. And a 20 on my... Yes, you're punching him. Okay. Um, He's groggy enough to stop fighting. Armor protects him a lot, so he hasn't, you know. He took a lot of damage from him before. So no, he didn't have go. a whole lot left. He I'm gonna let him drop. He has let go of him? <coughs> and then go help her. Okay. To help her land that thing safely. Okay. Um. Well, the other raider that was left, the other oh, yeah, left Sorry. hits you with a sonic gun that's built into his arm. You'll need to make a roll on your endurance. What's your endurance? Endurance. Uh, amazing. Okay, roll. Well, you don't roll the green one, does it? No. Uh, 61. Okay. So you don't pass out, you're delayed for one turn, kind of stunned, but you don't go out until, you only take 20 points damage, you're still, you're still conscious, right? Yeah. Yeah. It just stuns you for a round because you like, you lose all the center of gravity for you because you know, your eardrums and all that. It's a sonic cannon. Off of who? The third raider. The only one that was left that he hadn't thrown at someone. The second one creates force fields and needs it, and the last one had this sonic cannon, and that's what it hit you with. Um, they are leaving with the thing. You will be able to do something just as they cross the top of the building. What do you want to do? Uh, you shake it off. You're like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, so they're trying to pick up the generator and run? Yeah, they're flying it out. Uh, one took off somewhere, and you don't know where it is. This is the second one. I'm going to grab something, I don't know, something heavy, and throw at him. Can you just throw something at him? Yeah, see if I can hit him. Okay, roll. Uh, a 73. Okay. Roll a die 20. 13. Okay. The first one that you hit originally, that was still kind of conscious, you smacked him as he was leaving, and he is out. He falls to the ground. The other two keep, two keep guiding this thing out. 
Oh, they aren't carrying it out. They're flying because of the things they attach to it. Mm -hmm. They're just making sure it doesn't hit anything. So I knocked one out. Yeah, one fell to the ground. Do you go and grab him, or you just like leave him there? I hope he stays. Or what do you go after the other one? So what's your plan? Uh, I'll grab a hold of him because I'm so big. I can just carry him over. Okay, and then uh, and just before I go, I'm gonna ri start ripping his armor off of him. Okay. Roll. Uh, Seventy-seven and eleven. Okay. Are uh, you well? Um, the time that you've taken to rip his armor apart, um, you go outside to look for him, and they're gone. The other two in the generator. But we know exactly where they're at now. Yes, you have the one in his suit. His uniform is ripped off. You, you shredded it. It's all in pieces. <laughs> Yay. And then you have, you guys saved one generator. Yeah. Dropped it safely in the mud out there by the river. Yeah. And let's see how that ends. Okay, um, dealt with that, we are at the situation of, um, no one really recognized the footprints directly. One raider was defeated. That was the one you took down? Yeah. 30 points. 30 points? Yep. Um, <laughs> what? Um, well, I'm looking at things like Sasquatch kidnapped by by the by either Hulk. I had a second one back up. <laughs> did you defeat the first one? No. Did you defeat the second one? No. You know, game points. They don't have any minus for not beating them because they are what they are. And you weren't sat kidnapped by the Hulk, which means you'd have to pick a different Alpha Flight character for a bit. They have a backup. No. Oh. But I don't have both the backups they have, though. Okay. Well, I didn't. I didn't get hit in that, so. No, they were trying to get you with that sonic gun. But it didn't work. But it didn't happen. So, I'll give you guys thirty points apiece for saving the other generator from being crashed into the ground. It's a lot of money. What about for knocking that guy out? Oh, Marauder. Did you notice my? We both knocked him out. 35 for Marauder. 35 a piece? No, um, 20 a piece. Do that. Who hit him first? I did. I think. Him, right? No. I did. He did. Did you hit Marauder too? I don't think. I don't know. No, he hit the Raiders. Tug of War. Yeah, and he hit, and he, she hit the Raiders, and it did go through the armor. Okay. Um, they'll send down a truck and a crane. To go get the one out of the riverbed that you guys dropped out there, it's still uh, savable and usable. The uh, main, the most expensive parts of it are pretty damn tough, so that's not the problem. It's hard to get the tungsten, you know, rods up here and all those things. Um, so that, that's good. The other one they have on camera, they only went up about 100 feet above the roof, clearing the roof, and then disappeared. Like they were lifted into something. From the way it disappeared. Like there was something invisible flying up there to catch the stuff. You want to go after that? Well, that's gone. But that gives you some clues. Um, let's see, we did all that. So, what do you guys wish to do? You also have some people. See if they know anything. I don't know. You can also call Heather and have him come and get them, like all the others. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good idea. Oh, Heather. Um, as you guys get there to like start getting everyone, the one's afraid, screaming in terror about the one that ripped his uniform up. Get that beast off him. Get it away from him. He'll tell you everything you need to know. Don't send it against me again. 
Yes, I know it was you. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Take a step towards him. Ah! Start trying to crawl into a corner. <laughs> this is Mahler's my boss. But he's not really. He works for someone. Then Mahler hires us, but he works for someone. Who does he work for? Uh, Justin Hammer. He has a contract with him for security work. Not at this time. In the future they will, but not this time. That's what Hammer was doing. That's what he was doing in the last game. Yeah. That's why he needs the generators! Well, we could go pay a visit to Hammer. Why don't we? I'm gonna g g go with you. Make me tell you, make him go away and I'll tell you where he is. Back off. Um, he'll tell you that uh, Hammer headquarters on the top floor um, that he's renting over at Fort George for his uh, job. That's where he's working from right now. Well, guys, you think it's a good idea to go pay a visit to old boy? Yes. Yeah. They're also, oh, he's not done admitting things. Raider also conducted several other midnight raids on this place, using their flying suits, the anti-grav lifters to break in and get seen. Um, How did you They're after the steel, the special lithium tungsten coils. How did you guys get here? Oh, uh, well, Hammer's copter brought us within certain range, and then we flew in after that. Um. Oh, that's a weird one. All of you guys make popularity feet rolls. Except for I'm not going to allow a Sasquatch. <laughs> Why me? You're not popular to him anymore. Aww. 98? Eighty-four. You have the same popularities? I think he actually is higher. She's not known as well. Hers is excellent. Mine is incredible. Yeah, see, so you're a state, you're a, a nation treasure. Um, he tells you, it, but Hammer's not the really one in charge. The one in charge is someone he talks to called the other. Really? I, I don't know who they are. That's all I got. Really? I don't know where that idea where that came from either. He's pointing at. You know, where the, where, where the Hulk destroyed everything over there. And there's a problem. Ross Kincaid was kidnapped in the attack. Fort George is only an hour's flight away. Um, if you use the jet copter. Yeah, because five minutes ago, I don't know. Another speed. You guys. Well, it's almost 10 o'clock, so. Hey, man, we take, uh, Think we want to call it there? We can't. We're really good there. You guys feeling all right about it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. This what's called is when the hammer falls. Is you guys go chasing down the hammer? Make him play for pay for being a butthead. Okay, everyone. Hope you had fun. We'll see you next month on Sunday. Next week, on Sunday for the Hero Game. This week, Sunday, next week, too, for the Hero Game. Next week, Friday, for this game. And uh, check out the stuff on our website. Please like, subscribe, share. Bye-bye.